Hello and good morning everyone. We are starting out today as a very big day. Do you guys know what today is? I know what today is. Today is a motocross race. Tonight crew has a race and we are so excited. So we got to start this morning out strong. And I think they're tired from yesterday. They're up, they've eaten breakfast and I'm making lunches. I had to show you guys what I was doing for lunch today. For lunches today you guys, I am doing roll ups. I love these because you can do them so many different ways. Sometimes you can do them with turkey and cheese. My kids absolutely love Nutella. I don't think I've done Nutella yet this year. Today I am doing Nutella and some raspberry jam. My friend brought me this raspberry jam from Bear Lake. We are putting raspberry jam Mom, in these. Can I have one of those after school? Absolutely. Thanks. <laughs> hey, look, I didn't even do this on purpose again. What? We're matching. You just brushed your teeth so you're a little wet. Got the older boys off to school. That kind of happened quickly. I've got to get hazy after school today, and today is like, I think my first day driving since school started because it's been Lindsay's turn every other day. So I drove the first day, and then now I'm in charge of driving the rest of this week, which is really nice. And usually the days I drive are the days I take the opportunities to go get stuff done. I need to go get some snacks and some things for tonight's race. We try to take a lot of Gatorade, a lot of water. It gets really hot. We're probably going to pack in some sub sandwiches or something for dinner because there's not much out there to get for food. So I'm going to go get some stuff done while I take Miss Hazel to school. I'm going to do her hair really quick and get her off to school. I think she's going to have an awesome day. She looks so cute today. I'll have to show you after I do her hair. Hazy's doing what she loves to do every single morning. She watches a few cartoons. Come on, let's go take a picture of you. Hi, beautiful. I love that we both accidentally matched today. I didn't even do that on purpose. You guys, I've been trying really, really hard and I've learned it's very difficult. I've been trying really, really hard to learn how to French braid. I know how to French braid, but doing it on her fine hair is really, really hard. I think we did a good job today. We did a half French braid, pulled it to the side and kind of did like a little messy bun. Let's take a picture, should we? Kind of chilly out here, huh? I do that. I do. Put your hand on your hip and smile. She finally got one. That was kind of tough. She wanted to be a little difficult. This is how many it takes to get one good one. If you guys have been with us for a while, you know we love to celebrate milestones, and another one just went down in the Bingham family. Sean Bingham, my brother, has hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. A huge shout out and thank you to many, many of you. He launched his YouTube channel, just trying it out, seeing how it goes, posting once a week on Sundays. Make sure you check him out, but right now we're gonna go take him the celebratory 10K balloons standard in any Bingham family milestone celebration. So I've gathered Dan and Shell as well as Jared from Jared and Britt. The full Bingham family of YouTubers is coming together to go celebrate his 10,000 subscriber mark. I've picked up some recruits here. I've got some help. Woo! Now, if you guys have been following us for a while, you saw us, Mindy and I, bring 10K balloons to Dan and Shell's house right here in this driveway. After that, they joined us and took 10K balloons to Jared for Jared and Britt's channel. How rad is that? Now, we're all combining forces and taking 10K balloons <laughs> to Sean's house. Super <laughs> stoked about that. Sean just hit 10,000 subscribers, you guys. We got some rose gold balloons in the back. Perfect for him. Perfect for him. <laughs> his absolute favorite color. In fact, comment below rose gold on every one of his videos. <laughs> He will love it. We got the balloons in the back. I got the troops. We're headed over to his house right now. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Mm, are you even serious or did you do that for the video? Did you almost lose one of those? Michelle, that I was. almost lost the K. That was cat like only has lightning reflexes. 10. Congratulations on 10, John. 10. Things will pick up. <laughs> one over here. K over there. No, wait. Zero in the middle. Yeah, you're on the we other do. side. No, you gotta come over here because the K is backwards. Oh Guys, can we even spell? How do you spell Why 10 K? Is this so hard? Brandon, you're on the left. Thank you, engineer. Yeah, that's that's the the engineer. Yeah. One zero K. Never bring a Bingham to solve a math equation. But this isn't really math. How do we look up there? Good? Yeah. Do you want me to hold it? Oh, that looks really good. We are not the quietest of people. <laughs> I don't want to reveal too much, guys, because the Savage House Tour is coming your way via Sean's YouTube channel. We are now celebrating 10,000 subscribers, so without showing you too much. Sean's right in the middle of the zero. Hey, Michelle, I'm vlogging here. So. <laughs> Huge shout out and congratulations to Sean and his 10,000 subscribers. I know a lot of you are part of that family. That's fantastic. So thank you guys for that. But I want to let you guys know this dude is literally, we had like this tiny window to get over here because he's taking off to Rio right now. Rio, Rio. Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> Take two, or is, well, can I use my part? <laughs> and action. Scene, scene. <laughs> Muito obrigado. International man of mystery right here, you guys. If you want to follow his adventures in Rio, <laughs> that'd be pretty dope. I, yes, I am going to Rio right now. In fact, I got to get going pretty quick here. Do they know that you lived in Brazil for two years? Some people do, yeah. Yeah, I lived in Brandon Hesitia. lived in uh, Brazil for two years. He's taught me the language. I'm <laughs> fluent. Yep, it was me. <laughs> I am going to Rio, and it is one of my favorite places in the world. Hopefully, you can go over to my channel, maybe get the 10,000 up to like 10,001 or 10,002 <laughs> and three and four. Mom and dad actually subscribed this morning, so you're 10,002. 10,002. <laughs> you can make it 10,003. So go to my channel, subscribe. You'll see some really cool videos. House tour is next. Ooh. Rio videos are after that. Wow, guys. So house tour coming at you. Rio Sunday. videos. Don't miss a thing. And you will be doing Instagram while in Rio. Yes. So yes. at Sean Bingham on Instagram if you want to see some real time travels there. So dude, congrats yeah. on the 10K. Yeah. Thank Love you. you, bro. Love you. Thank you. And yeah. thank all of you. Oh, it's race day, baby. We are back in the house. Crew's home from school, and this little Woo! savage, look at him in his tank top, his underarm, his savage tank top. Oh, flex suit. Show me those muscles, baby. Oh. Yeah. Race day. Race day means a lot of things. It is a full night out of the track, multiple races. We haven't done this in a while. A year. Like the last time he was on a bike was a, a year, year ago. Yeah. Wow. Race mom coming through. What that means is snacks, coolers, bags of gear, water, Gatorades, lunches, dinners, everything Woo! we need for a full night out on the track. We're gonna be leaving right now. Kids just got home from school. We go there right now. We are there till well after the sun sets. Race under the lights. Got a lot of fun coming up. Kirby do. My main man. After last night's practice, how are you feeling? Are you feeling ready for race day? Mm -hmm. I'm really excited. We have not done this in a while, so we're gonna see how it's working out there this year. We're not totally sure. We haven't even like registered, signed up, nothing. So we gotta get there, get all that taken care of, get settled in, get you started, bro. I'm excited. Dude, I'm super stoked. We're gonna have the full family come out. They're gonna be supporting you, cheering you on as we do. Now, we'll show you guys this when we get there, but this year there are not really like any stands. Last year they had like this big almost arena that you could all just sit and gather and you could see the entire track. This one you just stand on the edge and some it's... places you can see, some places you can't. In fact, crew said he crashed last night and I was like, where? I watched you the entire time. I didn't even see that. Gonna head out there right now, load up the truck, load up the kids, load up the savagery, and we're headed to motocross. Woo! <laughs> Obviously what's missing from here that would normally be in here is a bike, but Edge has the bike right now They're getting a new graphics package for crew that's gonna have his name on it the family logo Everything is gonna be so sick We're not sure if that came in today or not But just in case it did we left it with them so that way they could put the graphics on there If we don't get it today, we'll send the bike home with them again until we get the graphics on it That's why we don't have the bike. So we are set up ready to go. I think we're missing the cooler though. Where's a little food? Here we do. We just got here to the track. Just got everything. Truck pulled up and all that. I just saw something, bro. Let me introduce you to your new bike. It's so clean and fresh. What do you think, dude? Look at it. It's got crew. It's got 12. It's got I'm the logo. The Check it out. This is the new bike, mom. It's got and crew right here, on it. How cool is that? What do you think? <laughs> Look at this crew 12 on the side logo edge crew 12 crew 12 so clean so shiny so crisp oh, I love that. I love oh, that right They changed there. these all to that black and white new graphics package. I freaking love it, dude oh, it's it awesome. looks so legit. Yeah, and so they, put the they put the risers there. in so it's a little bit bigger. And these are, these are 65 handlebars. So. Okay, big boy. Okay. Dude, you feeling pretty good on this thing? This is something pretty cool new this year, dude. You got race timers, like digital timers. I don't really know how it works at all. It's going to get you your timing. Maybe even keep track of who's in what place and stuff. Dude, your bike is freaking cherry. Let's get you suited up and let's get ready for race day. <laughs> When you come to these races, you guys, you got the rider wristband on the rider's wrist, and then they put on what's called the mechanic wristband, which means I'm able to go out there with him to help him if I need anything. I always thought that was kind of cool because if your bag breaks down, there's really nothing I know how to do, but I'm there if you need me. So one of the traditions here that we learned in our first year is that you get out and you walk the track. So the first thing Kruby likes to do is we get out, walk the track, check it out, see what there is. Right now he was just saying, this is like a dream come true because it's like softer, it's a real race track, it's gonna be so cool. So we're just out here walking it right now, taking a look, they're watering it down, getting it completely ready for tonight. We're gonna be starting warm-ups here in about 10 minutes, and Kruby is gonna get Get out here and race, baby. Mm -hmm. Crew is getting ready to warm up. The setup here is a little bit different than last year. There's not as many places to sit and see the track. Got this small little portion. That's the only place we have to sit and watch, unless you want to stand right off the track. We're excited to watch Kirby. We'll just see as much as we can from here. All right, you guys, we're at the warm ups, the starting gates right here. We'll let the 65s go, then the 50s. Crew, are you ready? Yeah. Let's go, baby. <laughs> How do you feel? Good, I want to go out there again. 
Kirby just got done with his warm-up laps. How you feeling, bro, after that? It was so much fun. He came out of there, and what did he say, Mom? He's like, I just want to get back out there. That was so much fun. Already stoked to get back out there, but guess what? You're in luck. You are race one and four tonight. So you're the very first race out of the gates. So let's get your bike back to the starting gates, and let's get going on race one. And then he's race four, which means when they repeat those again at the end of the night, if you guys are new here, you haven't seen any of our motocross races, any of our motos, I can't remember how to say it. They repeat the entire series again for a second heat, I guess. So the second time around, you'll be the fourth race, and then we get to go home. And then we'll go home early. So we won't be here super late, but race one, coming at you now. Woo. Hydrate, bro. How did that feel? First race since you've been coming back. First race in almost a year. How did it feel? It was very long. <laughs> it's a long. There are a lot longer laps on these tracks. I feel like, right? Mm -hmm. But dude, you were flying. Way long. Yeah, getting, yeah, thanks. You were getting major air, dude. You were going so fast, bro. I was so proud of you. Proud of you. One race in the books. Now, admittedly, I think I am ten times more nervous than Kirby. He seems to be totally at ease out there. Totally at home. Maybe one of the best races I've ever seen you do, and it's your first race back after a year, dude. That was incredible. I am so proud of you. How do you feel? You feel confident? You feel okay? Yeah, that was really fun. You're comfortable? Okay. All right, next race, he's uh, race number four, which is actually coming up right now. So we're going to head back over to the starting gates, going to get back into this. And then he's got a nice long break for a while to kind of rest, rehydrate, and then he'll be back at it again, repeating races one and four at the end of the night. Let's get out there for your next race. Here you go. standing there for the longest time. Couldn't figure out why I hadn't seen crew come across the finish line. This track is very long, very wide open. You can't see. In fact, I'm running a very long ways to get to him. He went down. We'll review the GoPro footage to see what happened, but he is still down over here. Let's go check. Let's see if this thing wants to work. Tire is dragging. Your back tire is not spinning. Is that your mom? Yeah, I think. His back tire won't move. Are you okay? I'm good. We just tipped over. Sweetheart, I haven't ran in a while. Oh. Hey, as long as you're okay, that's all I care about. Yeah, the tire moving. Hey, you're pretty good locked up. <laughs> Kirby, right, hold, wait, hold on, what's going on? Why? It's locked. I started it and well, I was push like, that. Let me see that. pulling it and it... It doesn't even move. No. So the brake's on or what? Here, I'll push it. Wait, so are you okay, dude? What happened? I'm fine. Look, watch out. <laughs> are you okay? Did it just like freeze up on you or what? I'm fine. Let me see I if I push it. just right like down. got caked in the dirt. Here you go, dude. Back at it, baby. Yeah. Mom, you want to come back here and tell us what happened? So it turns out, Mom got their first first one on the scene. I ran the back, back wheel was seized up, wouldn't move at all. Thankfully, Brian from Edge Power Sports came out, gave it a look. A rock got thrown up into the gear, into, into the, the chain. chain, pulled it off a little bit, and it was just stuck in there. So he just rocked it back and forth, back and forth until it shook out. Then he turned it on, lifted it up the back, and just gunned it until all the dirt and rocks flew out of there. Anyways, back in action. Crew's okay. That's all we care about. Crew's like, good. It's a bike. And that's one of the things we love about motocross: is the awesome people that you meet, the awesome friends that you make, and the friendships that crew has found. Are you feeling okay though? Yeah, that was fun. You're hot. I can tell. Let's get let's get Kirby some water, Brex. Can you get out and get him water? Denies a right. cold one. knew was on the bottom. Ooh, here's a cold one. This is Cruz Husky, bro, who he looks forward to racing with the most. We had to come up with some swag because he's been a great mentor to crew, a great friend to him. They always start together, give each other a little fist bump, challenge each other. Thank you both for being a great friend at motocross. Appreciate it. You're little TIHWB swag. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 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 
So we are now into the second half of the night. He is races one and four again. This is Buddy Porter, he's such a stud. <laughs> we are wrapping up the first round of motos. We're heading into the second half of the night. The sun has set, they're turning on the lights. It's nice and crisp and cool. It's gonna be a great last two races. Two more to go, finishing up our first night of the moto. How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Feeling this is so much fun. <laughs> this is so much fun, dude. I love doing this. Love race night, baby. <laughs> It is cooling off a ton, which feels so much better. We were just like sweating buckets out here before. We're waiting for crew to start race number one again on the second round, so he has two races left. He's about to get up. I'm excited to watch him. you guys I will go back and review the GoPro footage but crew had like two wrecks that I at least saw he says maybe a couple more look at this completely <laughs> shattered his helmet on one of them this piece in here broke off I mean it's just the visor these things break it's not like it's the actual noggin protector but cracked and trashed right there dude crew this is motocross right are you okay how do you feel I'm fine you're fine okay I think you're tired huh it's been a long night we've killed it and I think we might just pack it in and call it good that's gonna do it for Kruby Dude tonight. Savage last race. Went down a couple times, but one of my favorite things, you couldn't see it because the camera flipped backwards, but he goes down. The first thing he does is pop up and give me a thumbs up back at the starting line. Just let me know. He's good. It's all good. No big deal. Went down in some nice soft dirt. Collisions off the line happen. Seems to happen to poor Kruby a lot. Popped up, went and finished despite breaking his visor. They kept falling down into his face. And that's one of the things that I love is that you continue to just finish. One of the things that they're emphasizing this year over years in the past is they're making it a little bit less competitive and a lot more just about having fun, working on technique. Tonight, Kruby Dude feels like he wants to pack it up. I think he had an incredible night. So we're just going to head and load up the bike and head back out of here. But guys, smash the like button for Kruby. His first race back, first night back on the motocross track. And I think you crushed it, dude. Thanks. It was so much fun. Wrapping up our very first full night here at the track. Huge success, in my opinion. I think it was an awesome night. I was saying this just seconds earlier that the focus tonight and this year is much more on having fun and just getting better and enjoying it. And I think that's what we did tonight. Kids here are just so encouraging. Everybody's fist bumping crew. Everybody high-fiving so him. Cute. We just love this scene. It just feels right. It feels good. We feel welcome here. Like our moto family. Yeah, we love you. You're our family. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for smashing the like button on this video and thank you for coming back every single day Make this a part of your lives. You guys rock. We are so grateful for each and every one of you Lots of stuff coming up this weekend. Make sure to stay tuned turn on the bell and your notifications So, you know when we upload and we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Good night everybody